there's so much that you can do with it and they're, they're really cute. everyone, Brittany here from Just Be Crafty. If you're new here, welcome. And if not, thank you so much for coming back. In today's video, we're going to talk all about corner to corner crochet, also known as C2C stitch. So it's a really interesting stitch where you basically work in little blocks, like one block at a time, and you work diagonally from corner to corner. So in the tutorial, we're going to be making just a little swatch, just so you get the basic idea idea of it. What's interesting about C2C is that or corner to corner, there's so much that you can do with it. I've actually made a few projects with this technique. I've done, I think just one, just one that's on my blog. And I do have a tutorial for that as well. Um, and then I've made a couple personal projects with it, but just so you can kind of get an idea of like the customization that you could do with it. This is something that I did with C2C and it's of the Pomplamousse or Grapefruit LaCroix can. And I cannot take credit for this. This was not my design. This was not my idea. Sarah of Repeat Crafter Me, she uh, has a whole blog post on how to make this and I just saw hers and I thought it was so much fun so I decided to make my own. But anyway, this is just an example of how you can, you know, do beautiful color work with corner to corner crochet. I also made a crochet afghan quilt a few years ago. I'll insert the photos right here so you can see it, but that's super fun. Uh, the color work doesn't go into like crazy uh, detail with that one. That one, The color work is a lot more sim uh, simple because if you look at the back and I still have never weaved in my ends, but the ends are a little... <laughs> They're a little crazy back there. But anyway, so corner to corner crochet is an awesome technique and it's super fun. And kind of once you get the basic idea of it, you can kind of run, run wild with it. But next week I have a super fun tutorial coming out. It's for this pattern and these are little triangle hair kerchiefs that you can kind of just like tie, tie into your hair. And they're, they're really cute. So this is a brown and white one and then this is a purple and white one and anyway so if you are interested in making this pattern this pattern is going to release next Friday so make sure if you're not already subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss this pattern and this tutorial. Anyway, today is just kind of a refresher of C2C. Maybe you're new to C2C or you just haven't done it in a while. I just wanted to have kind of like a little bit of a refresher. No color changes or anything. This is kind of just a basic tutorial on how to do it, how to do the increases and then how to, you know, you, you increase basically up until you get the uh, length or size of your square and then once you get to your desired size then you start working uh, your decreases. Anyway we're going to go over color changes and stuff. I'm going to go over a tutorial on exactly how you know I did the color changes with this next week so if you're interested in that make sure you subscribe. So anyway, let's dive into the tutorial. You'll want to grab yourself some yarn to practice with. Today I'm using Big Twist Value. It's a 100% acrylic yarn and it's a number four medium weight, also known as a worsted weight yarn. And this is the color Aqua. And whether you have this yarn or not, I suggest to grab something similar. You'll also need a five millimeter hook, some scissors, and a yarn needle. We're going to start out with a slip knot. And now we're going to chain six. Okay, so we have six chains and we're now going to place a double crochet stitch into the fourth chain from our hook. So count over four chains and in that fourth chain, make a double crochet. In the next chain, we're gonna make another double crochet. So 
So we're making a double crochet into that next chain. And now we're going to double crochet into the last chain. This completes row one. We're now going to turn our work and we're going to start by chaining six. Okay, so we have six chains, and once again, we're going to start by making a double crochet into the fourth chain from our hook. So into that fourth chain, we're making a double crochet, and then in the next chain, we're going to make another double crochet. And now in that last chain, we're going to make another double crochet. So next, we are going to look at row one. So in row one, and it looks kind of weird because it's not like a normal row, right? You're going to see three double crochet stitches in a chain space. So you're going to skip over those three double crochets. And in the chain space, we're going to make a slip stitch. So slip stitch into that chain space. Okay, now we're going to chain three. So one, two, and three. And in that same chain space, we're going to make three double crochets. So here's one double crochet, two, and three. All right, so we've just finished row two. Now we're ready to turn our work and begin row three. So to start row three, we're once again, we're going to chain six. And you guessed it, once again, we're going to start in the fourth chain from our hook and we're going to make a double crochet. And then we're going to double crochet into the next chain. And then we're going to double crochet into the next chain. All right, so now we're going on to our next group of stitches. So once again, we're going to skip over the double crochets and we're going to slip stitch into the next chain space. So slip stitch into there. And we're going to chain three. Okay. Now we're going to make three double crochets into that same chain space. So here's one, now two, and now three. Okay, perfect. And now in the next one, we're going to do the same thing. So find the next chain space, slip stitch into there, and then we're going to chain three. And then we're going to make three double crochets into that same chain space. We've completed row three, so go ahead, turn your work, and now we're ready to work on row four. And it's really just more of the same. So we're going to start off the row by chaining six. And we're going to start by making a double crochet into the fourth chain from our hook. 
and then we're going to double crochet into the next chain and then make a double crochet into the next chain. And we're just going to keep doing more of the same. So into the next chain space, find the next chain space and we're going to slip stitch into there and we're going to chain three and then you're going to make three double crochets into that same chain space. Okay, and now we're ready for our next little square. We're going to slip stitch into the next chain space. We're going to chain three. And then we're going to make three double crochets into the same chain space. And then the same for the next. We're going to find the next chain space, slip stitch into there, and we're going to chain three, and then we're going to make three double crochets into the same chain space. You're going to keep working those increase rows basically until you get to the desired, you know, length and height of your square or until you're comfortable with working the corner to corner stitch in the increase direction. I suggest, you know, if you're not making anything, if you're just kind of making a swatch, I don't know, set the timer for 15 minutes and just keep increasing until you're completely comfortable with the technique. And then when you're ready to start decreasing again, hit play and I will walk you through it step by step. All right, so once you get to your desired size, turn your work and now we're ready to begin our decrease row. So to start off our decrease row, we're going to begin with a chain one. We're now going to slip stitch across the next three stitches. So one, two, and three. And we're now going to slip stitch into that next chain space. And that basically completes our first decrease. So now we're ready to chain three. And in that same chain space, we're going to make three double crochets. Okay, so that's our first square. And you can kind of see how that's going to start creating a straight edge here. So we're no longer increasing anymore. So now it's kind of more of the same. We're gonna find the next chain space and we're gonna slip stitch into there. And then we're going to chain three. And we're going to make three double crochets into that same chain space. All right, now we're ready for the next stitch. You're gonna find the next chain space, kind of more of the same. We're gonna slip stitch into there, chain three, and then make three double crochets. And this will actually be the last square of our row because remember, we're not increasing anymore. We're working on our decreases. All right, so we just finished our last square. And now to finish it off, we're going to slip stitch with the next chain space. And this row is done. So we're gonna turn our work, we're gonna chain one, and we're going to slip stitch across into the next chain space. So slip stitch into each of those three double crochets. All right, and now we're going to slip stitch into that chain space. And we're just repeating the same instructions as before. So we're going to chain three. And then we're going to make three double crochets into that same chain space. All right. We're now going to slip stitch 
into the next chain space. And this will be the last square of this row. So we're going to chain three. Okay, and then we're going to make three double crochets into that same chain space. Okay, and now we're going to slip stitch into that next chain space. And that completes that row. So once again, we're going to turn our work and then chain one. And we're going to slip stitch into each of these stitches across, each of those three double crochets. So I'm just going to flip this around so you can kind of see how the R square is coming together. So we're slip stitching into that chain space. And now we're going to complete our last square. So we're going to chain three. And then we're going to make three double crochets into that same chain space. Okay. And now we're going to slip stitch into the next chain space, turn your work, chain one, and then just slip stitch in each of those stitches, each of the three double crochets, and then into the chain space to finish off your square. Now you can slip, snip your yarn and then fasten off. And there you have it. That's how you do the C2C stitch, both increasing and decreasing. I really hope you found today's tutorial helpful. If you did, please let me know by giving the video a thumbs up. And if you're interested in this pattern that's coming out next week, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.